Yeah, so the main uh, features of this device is this is mainly focused for imaging. So it has a 8 megapixel camera. It comes with a camera lens also. <coughs> and uh, it has a xenon flash. The xenon flash, what it gives is the light is more, what we call it, smoother. So it doesn't glare in your face if you are shooting pictures in a dark area. Uh, it also has an accelerometer, so when we turn the device around, it just kicks it in. The camera is 8 megapixel camera. The neat feature about this is it has a wide angle lens, so which gives you much uh, wider picture than any other cameras which are there today on the mobile phones. Plus it also supports uh, continuous shooting. So if you take pictures right one after another, it will bring them together in a panoramic uh, view. This is actually considered as a smartphone because uh, it has all the features which you need in a smartphone. And this is the first phone which we're launching with Rogers which will have OV store on it. This is a Nokia's application storefront. So when you go there, it is pretty much like a application content storefront where you can get access to the download applications. On top of it, there is tabs. There is a recommended tab which comes up when you launch the client, which is showing the content or the application which are most applicable for this device. There is application tabs which list all the application. Then there is games. And then there is audio and video like ringtones and any videos you want to get. Personalization is like if you want to get some th themes, wallpapers, screen savers, back to recommend it. So you can download it and it just installs it as quickly and then you can start using it. It has GPS, so it has uh, OV Maps. This is the, the OV Maps version 3.0. So the ba basic features and the addition features in this one is it gives you 3D landmarks when you're walking. It's very difficult to see the buildings unless you go to the satellite mode and figure out where exactly you are. Another good thing with the Nokia Maps is the all the map data for Canada is already loaded on the device memory. So the kind of amount of data it needs uh, to go to the network is bare minimum. In fact, you can use it without using any data. You can actually turn the network connection so it can also work like your Garmin in a standalone mode, which is a unique thing. So like any smartphone, it also supports your corporate email through ActiveSync. And then it also allows you access to your personal email. So if you go right here, so you can see, you can access your Yahoo, Hotmail. I have all these different email accounts set up here. So you can do up to 10 different email accounts of the one device. Another cool thing about this one is it not only slides up, it slides down also. And these uh, keys are context sensitive. If you are in a music player, the music part of it will light up. And if you're playing a game, which also has Nokia and Gage, so then the, these keys can be used for playing games just like this. So you don't need to slide it other way around. Then it also has uh, this client here, it's called Share Online. So if you take a picture right from the camera itself, you can upload the picture to Flickr, Fox, and OVShare. 